Good Monday morning, everybody. Uh, it's uh, 20 after 11 already. I've been up since 6.30, but got the new flag out. Took the old one down. I got to get that up to the Legion to get it disposed of properly. Checked the pool. We got the filter and everything pump hooked up to that yesterday. Tammy put some shock in it. We've been working on that a little bit. The guy from Redline Equipment came out, and we ended up switching some hoses back here. Couple hoses put on wrong when they assembled it for the down pressure adjustable down pressure on the basket so that straightened out went out back and made a couple passes in that bean stubble field that's going back to beans and got up here and noticed the tire was flat so looks like it's got some thorns in it probably from over there at Woodville all them uh, locust trees so took that tire off got it in the back of dad's truck we're gonna run this back around behind the barn out of the way get the um planter out and get it serviced uh, winterized winterize it in the spring but hopefully we're done with it um, dug up some kernels over to Woodville and they had a half inch of sprout on them think about it John put that put a clip in here of that it was well today's the 22nd so yesterday was the 21st it was planted the 18th and it's already got a half inch sprout on it so I was happy about that so yeah I'm gonna run this back around we'll get the uh, We'll get the um, every once in a while this tractor will do that. It won't let you come out of park. And I don't know why. I see the fuel gauge is trying to work. looks good out there doesn't it give it a day or two and the wrinkles from it being folded will be gone all right well let's see do do do, do. one more shot I guess fourth time's a charm. Wiggled the steering a little bit the last time before I shut it off. But I, I don't know if it gets pressure on it. There's enough pressure on it on the park sprag that it won't release. I don't know. It's been a long time since it's done that to me. But okay, so we'll get this back around behind the barn and see what we can get into. 970 started up here. Just a whiff. spraying Max is making sure he's doing it right is he getting all the right spots Max
No, it's still back here. I'm going to fill it up, but I want you to make sure it's squirting out of okay, everything when I turn it. Well, that was just a half an hour of concrete that we just filmed. Got the pump winterized, got the RV antifreeze in there, pumped through all the lines. Got my Ziploc bags on all the fittings. All the connections are good, covered. Everything's washed, and we're good to go. Take her out in the yard, drag her a little bit through the yard, just clean the seat out of the tubes. I suck. Okay, changed the battery out in the GoPro. <coughs> we went to eat Snuffies. Went to Snuffies Reloaded. First time I've been there in years. First time Dad's been there in decades. But I'm sure we got puppies waiting for us. Come on. Max, come on. Coming out, Max. Coming out? Huh? No? Okay. This knucklehead's out here though. <coughs> Alright, so yeah, like I was saying, pool's up and running. Gotta get it shocked. She shocked it, cleaned it. Gotta, it's gotta sweep it. Got the new flag out. The guy was here. Red line got the uh, bowling baskets on the back of the vertical hill set up. We got the corn planter all cleaned up. We took the tire off the vertical till to Northwest Tire to get fixed. And uh, I guess we'll unhook this and get the Granger out and start working on it. Okay, now we gotta flip these brushes in here. Let me get close up here. You see these brushes in here? And you take this cotter pin out. Oh, we need a pair of pliers. So you pull this cotter pin out. And then you take the brush and you flip it forward. And you open it up. And you put the cotter pin back in underneath of it and you're good for beans. That's it. So you can actually twist the brush back. So yeah, 22 of them holes. I see there's a little bit of weed in there. I thought I had her all cleaned up pretty good, but I must not have. So yeah, 22 of them, we'll be ready. Then we gotta put the tubes on from, from here to there. 
Okay, my LG seed dealer farms right across the road from me, and they were over there picking up rocks. So I went over and talked to him. Me and Dad went over there and talked to him. And we got some corn to take back. So he says, well, I'm going home and get some dinner, and then I'll uh, be around. So CJ called. The tire's done for the Terramax. So we're going to uh, get them a couple bags out of the barn. Going over to Dad's, get the corn that's over there. We'll get that, put, throw it in the truck, go get the tire, and then go take that corn back to Dad's. Sound like a plan? Clear as mud? Yep. Okay, we took seed back to Dan. Got the tire from Northwest for the Terramax. Whew, it's hot in here. Window must have blew shut. So let's see if this thing will cooperate this time. And hey, look at that first try. I don't know why it does that sometimes, but yeah, well get this tire put back on here and I think I'm going to go across that field where we made that run with the tech this morning and then we'll be done with this thing when I can unhook it and we'll put the grain drill on this tractor so yeah we'll get that tire put back on and see what happens okay set the camera down for a while and got a lot of stuff done <laughs> Got the planter put back here in its little resting spot. Hopefully we don't need it. Don't have to replant any corn. Got the water wagon back in here next to my little wagon. Out of the way. The scooter on the grain drill for now. Got the tire put back on Bertha. I think tomorrow, sometime tomorrow I am going to Work that ground back there. Then we'll be done with the Terramax and I'll unhook that. And then I'm gonna put the grain drill on Bertha and put scooter back on the sprayer. Cause I gotta spray corn. And then I'll have to spray, well, I just gotta spray the corn for now. All the bean ground is sprayed. And uh, yeah, we'll sit there in Bertha and let it idle around playing beans. So all we gotta do now to this thing is Put the tubes on it and adjust for the population but i'm not going to put the tubes on it till we're ready to go so anyway i think that's about it for today thanks for watching everybody see you on the next one